What's up guys, John Killing here back with another video. This time I'll be drawing this illustration you're seeing right now and I'll be talking about the important thing about backgrounds when you're drawing a character. Yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into it. One thing I want to mention is that for this character, the inspiration came from, uh, I don't know how to say, the hairstyle that my little daughter was using like maybe two weekends ago. And um, yeah, I from that I start drawing this character. And um, yeah, it's been really fun doing the pencil doodle. Um, thinking about my daughter in the process is I don't know I'm what I'm trying to say is that sometimes inspiration for a character came from could come from anywhere and this time was from yeah hairstyle I saw a weekend so yeah as usual, I am using hatching and cross hatching for the shadows and adding details during the inking process. That is what I like to do because if I do all the details on the pencil sketch or the pencil doodle, I finally get bored while inking and I don't know, I have to, I want to keep the fun or have fun in every stage of the drawing process so that's why i love to do details in the inking process also this character is named uh, laura she is one of the characters of my of the comic i'm working on right now um yeah in this illustration she is definitely like older a little bit older than in the comic so yeah i play with that she's now more more grown up more maybe with a badass look and yeah i have fun doing this with my characters imagine them in the future and I, I don't know I think it you can tell the story of a character by making drawings in different stages in his life so I'm having fun telling her story here also I wanted to her to have a sword because in the comic you will see in the future spoiler alert <laughs> she used a sword so i wanted to her to keep the sword for her so i add the weapon so far so good i'm having fun adding details and yeah i also wanted to share with you here in this video this beautiful landscape uh, we had a great time on the weekend we are here in Chile, it's winter, so with my family we go to the mountains uh, to see the snow. My kids hadn't seen the snow, so it was really, really fun. And back to the drawing. At some point I decided that to complete the story about this character, I wanted to add a background. I was thinking of a random background, like some random shapes, but here I found that maybe the background could tell more about the story of what is had just happened. So instead of being like a character standing, now it's a character on a place that is in ruins, product of a fight maybe so you can add like character and tell 
I'm repeating myself here, but <laughs> telling the story about the character by showing something of the context or the background where the character is. So yeah, I think it, it was a tough decision to make because the character was completely drawn, it was good, I was satisfied with the result, and then start thinking about adding the background. Uh, it was a tough decision because I could ruin the piece while drawing the background. And I made a mistake and didn't scan the piece before doing the background, so I was scared. <laughs> but yeah, so far I have the thin line work done and I'm really happy with the result. What can I say? I look some references for the for the walls and yeah now I'm inking the negative space so the character pops more and yeah I if you don't know I'm using a rechargeable brush pen it's a Moloto but I fill it with a water base ink is an Ecoline ink it's really cheap ink and works really good now I'm doing the thick line work and yeah this part of the process is really fun because you start like understanding the 3D the, the volumes of the shapes it's a really important stage in the drawing because you give values to some lines, other lines stay really thin and you start creating small shadows and big shadows and yeah I love this process it's really long process but I it pays off so you can really tell the difference between a piece without these line values and with line values so yeah, I really recommend you to try to do this on your work. For me, it's been like game changing, really fun. And you, you have to pass through a strange stage where the drawing is looking not that good, but you have to commit to your decision and just go for it and start shadowing and rendering the shapes you want to to make them pop so I'm almost done doing this and now I decided to make the character pop more by using gray tones on the walls always I try to leave the the light spot uh, in white so I don't use white ink to revalue those those light spots so you can see the crack wall with some white spots there it, I don't know it's it helps the piece and here I'm working on the other wall and yeah some little touches great touches on on the character but not that much because I want the character to pop and finally with white ink and a toothbrush I do the white spots on the background and yeah we're done yeah I'm really happy how this turned out here are my tools as you might know I love working traditionally and yeah this has been a really nice drawing to do I've learned a lot and hope you add some background to your drawings and yeah that's all guys thanks for the support hope you like this video it was really fun and yeah remember to follow me on my Instagram account John Killing where I post drawings almost every single day 
and yeah remember to smash that like button and comment and subscribe and share and yeah do that all that youtube stuff and i'll see you in the next video keep drawing have fun cheers <laughs>